Shalom. It's Brother Montezal about to do a quick lesson. Uh, some real quick, man, and route and transit, basically. Uh, before we open up, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rekat Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Rule Will. Decent salutations to you, Akim, out here laboring in the truth and truth and sincerity. Uh, basically, you know, I was just uh, meditating on something this morning, thinking about, uh, you know, uh, how, like, our reward, basically, is really not in this place. You know, this place is, uh, you know, not, it, it, it's not where you want to uh, be trying to get your reward out of. Cause this, uh, the things in this world, but basically, is going to uh, perish away, you know. So, with, with knowing that, basically, our minds supposed to be um, basically trying to contend for the faith, man. You know, making it to the kingdom of heaven. You know, this is uh, uh, John 6 and uh, 27. He says, labor not for the meat which perisheth. He says, but for that meat which endureth into everlasting life. See, which the son of man shall give you unto you for him. So like if for him have Yahweh the Father sealed. See? So basically the, the Lord, he's he's been sealed, you know, and, and, and our Lord, he has been our example of uh putting off this world man and uh putting off that old man and putting on a new man on a day day-to-day -day basis, man. Putting off he's been an example to uh put our faith in the most high Yahweh, the true living power, you know. And basically, that's what we should be, you know, focusing more on, you know, because this place right here, man, look, man, we, our reward is not here. Our reward is coming in, 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 in uh, due season, which is, I believe we are in that season, you know, it's coming up, man. That's the good news, you know what I'm saying? That's the whole good thing about this, man. You know, our reward is coming real soon, man. You, you may see. You know the people of this world, man. They, they may be getting, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the gifts of this world. You know, they may be, uh, uh, be getting uh, things. You know, what I'm saying that. Uh, you know, what I'm saying you're not getting. You know, but uh, you know, hey, count it all joy, man. You know, what I'm saying if you're not, if you're not flourishing in this world like that, man. You really, we're really not supposed to anyway like that. You know. You might have some brothers that might, might get a blessing, get a few blessings or whatever here and there, you know. Some brothers might, you know, make good money or whatever. You know, nevertheless, though, if you're not, you're not, you know, don't don't be discouraged. Don't feel down, man. Hey, man, count it all joy. Give, give you how about Shem Yahweh Shah all the praise and glory, man. Because the Lord said, um, you know, the first shall be last and the last shall be first, man. You know, that's the good thing, man. Hey, let them have a let them have a kingdom. Let them have a heaven, man. You know. Uh, let me get this real quick. This is uh, Matthew uh, six and nineteen. It says, "Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doeth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal." So you know, hey, man, don't 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 lay your treasure down here on this earth, man. You know, don't don't put your mind. In your heart and your soul into this place, man, to be successful. You understand? You know this 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 place is over with anyway, man. You know this place is about to man. The, the economy is about to collapse, bro. You know the MOB is here. You know they finna really start implementing the MOB. Hey, man. The, man, look, man. We we literally almost up out of here, man. That's the beautiful thing, man. So basically. Right now, the, where the true treasure is, man, is really in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and His wisdom and knowledge, man, and uh, 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 and how we gonna escape, you know, what I'm saying the destruction, you know, what I'm saying that's coming to this place, man. This verse twenty, he says, "But lay up yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor dust, I'm like you, neither moth nor rust nor uh, do corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal." See. Hey, 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 uh, uh, thieves can't steal or take away, you know what I'm saying, the gifts that the Heavenly Father got stored up for us, man. 
in the kingdom of heaven that's coming, man. Okay? And, and thieves can't steal the wisdom and knowledge that the Heavenly Father has given into us, man, which is really the true treasures, the true riches. Okay? That's the beautiful thing about this, man. You just got to have to understand it, man. Look, man, this place right here is, just, is a temporary, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's, a, it's a temporary setup, you know? So like, yeah, I'm driving here, trying to ride through this little construction street. Give me one moment here to get through here. All right. All right. This is verse 21. He says, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. All right. So wherever your treasure is, man, is that's basically where your mind is going to be at. If your mind is caught up, you know what I'm saying, into uh, the, uh, the riches and the gifts of this world, man, hey, man, chances is you're going to, you're, you're headed to destruction, okay? And uh, you don't want to have your mind there. You basically want to have your mind, in, you know, in the, in the scriptures, in the prophecies, you know what I'm saying, and uh, the kingdom of heaven coming, you know, uh, uh, righteousness being restored back on the earth, you know, getting 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 crowned you know what i'm saying by yahweh shy himself man that's an awesome gift man you know that's what that's what our minds should be set on man you know you, you know the kingdom of heaven coming man you know um to like you you gotta contend you have to get contend for the faith you know you gotta fight this fight man all the way into the end man you know uh, let me grab this real quick this is Jude. I think it's in the book of Jude. Uh, Jude 1. I'm going to start at verse. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and. Uh, let me see. I'm going to start at 2. Mercy. I'm going to start at 1. Lock it. It's in the book of Jude. Start at verse 1. Jude, the servant of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, and the brother of James, to them that are sanctified by Yahweh the Father and preserved in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. And preserve Slakia. My bad. Right? By Yahweh, the Father, and preserved in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and called. Get over here. Mercy unto you, and peace and love be multiplied. That's to, even to you, brothers, man. Right? Even right now, to this day. Because we've been called, man, into this faith. You know? We've been called into this thing, man. Even myself, I pray for you brothers, man, to make it, you know, to the kingdom so that we can, uh, you know, celebrate together, man. This is uh, verse uh, verse three. He said, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write to you and exhort you that Ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was was slack you for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. So basically, man, look, man, we gotta contend. And that's just the point right there. Earnestly, man. You know, you know, keep it in your mind, man. We gotta stay ready. You know what I'm saying? And hold fast until our Lord, Yahweh Shah come, man. We gotta hold fast, you know. Let me see if I can find this real quick. I can't remember it right now off the top of my head. Temporal, yeah, yeah, I think it's the only one. Yeah, here it is. This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. It says, while we look not at the things which are seen, all right, we look, we, we, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So basically, we're supposed to be setting our affections on those things, you know what I'm saying, that are eternal, life of the last man, which would be the kingdom of heaven, where it would be true righteousness and order established on earth. And where we will live like kings forever and ever and ever with our, with our Heavenly Father and with our Lord, man. That's the beautiful thing, man. 
you know, so be encouraged, man, and, and keep fighting this good fight. Shalom. I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, Rakha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and rule well. Peace and salutations to all the Akim out here laboring in this truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.